So we're going to do our monthly update on the 20 gallon planet aquarium and last month I'm pretty sure we discussed how a lot of the stems new not really new plants but all the trimmings we've been planting recently at least these past couple of months that they were finally rooting and starting to grow so this month as you can see we got some pretty basically it's it's 100 percent now and it's growing we just got to keep trimming it and it'll eventually just kind of form like this one i just trimmed this whole tank like last week so the tank doesn't look the best right now just because you know there's a lot of co yellow coloration just because from trimming that's usually how it works but you know i cut down all this for the actually a lot of these to update we know we planted all these and i finally trimmed them for the first time so you can see they're all the same height these ones they're already starting to grow back you see some of these are getting a little taller but i gotta figure out because i have a lot and it's starting to thin out back there and it's just, it's just it got so thick and then a lot of the plants were dying that weren't getting any light and so now it's kind of thinning back out so I got to figure out something. I I don't know the best way to really solve that, but we have so much stems. I'm not really that worried about it, but you can see like back there how a lot of them don't have leaves on them no more, but it'll grow back, but I, I don't know. I'll have to keep watching that, but we have so many back there. It's It doesn't really bother me at all, but so if you watched, if you guys have been watching other videos, you know that the carpet kind of had some troubles. You can see we got some browning here and I basically got it solved. It's just kind of a waiting game right now. It kind of sucks, but, you know, it's what it is. You know, we learn from it. But you can see, like, all this, it's all growing back. You can see all the new stuff growing back. So it's all growing back now. So it'll cover back over this, and it'll look good as new. But, yeah, it just kind of sucks at the moment that we have to, well, at least I have to look at it like that. But nothing wrong with that. Got all synchronous right there. But, yeah, so it just kind of happened, and, but it's still growing, it's all growing back, and then it'll be back to new, and this tank will probably look really good after that, because that's probably be the first time this tank's really looked, because once I clean the rocks off, now they're back to like normal again, and then this carpet will grow back, and looking nice and green again, and then a lot of these will start growing back, it, the tank will look really good, and that, that'll be good, which sucks, because this will eventually get rescaped and everything, but you know, we we'll might as well make it great until the end, so... But we got more growth. This kind of is still growing, so you can see it's starting to keep going back there. I'm hoping it just spreads back there. It don't have to go into the stems, but just at least fill that last little bit in, and we'll be good. Which, yeah, it's kind of cool how it all filled in. I didn't really expect it to all get this far at this point, but it's been two years with this tank, so I mean, it's actually been way longer than I really thought. So then this, I really don't know what's going on. It looks like it's starting to grow back, but I'm just hoping it just keeps going back and back. And I really, I really want this section to fill in because this one's kind of a big one. And a lot of stuff gets kicked up into the filter right here. This is probably the last section where it has a lot of 88 exposed. So I'm just hoping this at least gets filled in. But by the time that happens, this tank's probably going to get rescaped and gone anyways. But uh, I'm just hoping that at least happens sometime in the next couple of months and see how far I can get it. But... I probably expect to get somewhere around here eventually. It just, it just has to keep rooting and rooting back there. But, oh yeah, then the, the other s wrappings we put back here, we buried these deep, so it took a while for these to actually root. It probably took actually the two months that we planted to go. And they're finally finally sprouted, so it, it'll t probably take those a while too, but now they're planted and they'll get... This is just to cover the um, bottom of the java fern, just so you don't have to see the roots. Because obviously, you know, I don't have the java fern planted because you know you can't the rhyme zone can't, has to be above the surface so you can see like how everything's above the surface it just kind of blends with the ada which is why i did it so i'm just using those extra weapons to kind of hide all that so it just looks like it is planted back there but and like i've always said like the java fern isn't really my favorite back there i would probably chose something different if now that i know but you know because really this plant's really meant to be putting maybe in between wood rocks but it worked out, but I, it wouldn't be my choice. If if I were to redo this tank, it definitely wouldn't be there now. But it worked out. Nothing wrong with it. But, so, and then the other, actually, I think I planted these last week. So this is actually kind of new. I, I went ahead and, because I said I'd keep going once I get new trimming. So I did plant two more. So I think that's 
done. I think so. Now I think we're done replanting everything that we can. Um, I don't see anything that else I can replant unless I replant. I I kind I don't really want to replant any of these because I kind of just want them naturally to grow close together. So we'll just see. The I left the Java fern on this side. I'm not trimming it, so it is kind of you can see how it's slowly good. You know, this part's getting kind of sucked up by a filter, but you can see it's slowly shifting over here. So that's good. And there is like a ribosome right there that a new one growing off this one. So hopefully it just keeps going over here. Because there's, this is so big right here that I'm hoping this kind of just spreads out and evens out with this one. So, But I'm still keep, keeping it trimmed over here because I don't want anything over there. But then also we got the Anubias back there. You can see it's nice and growing. There's actually a couple new leaves. Looks like it's growing back there. And let's see if we can zoom into that. You can see the new... All that new the roots are actually attached to the rock now, so it's not going anywhere, which is nice. And you can see all the new roots growing. So hopefully this, I mean, we'll see what happens to this. I'm just gonna let it naturally kind of just grow out, but we'll see. We'll kind of see um, how big that gets. You can see how big this one got. This is actually way bigger. I just kept trimming it, like because it gets super tall and I trim it, and then that's where this one went. So, I mean, you see it's already doing it again, but. Yeah, this one just like once once these roots attach, it's like glued on there. It's impossible to get off unless you rip all the roots. But we got a pretty good section over there. That's been growing for two years now. So I mean, I remember getting that thing. It was pretty small. And then this one over here, it's not attached yet because I keep messing with this rock and like cleaning it, so I keep pulling it right back out. But I'm hoping this finally gets. You can see, there's actually two new leaves, but it is. It's not attaching yet because there's not enough roots growing out of it to attach and it's taking a while so I'm hoping that finally does so I can have to not keep messing with it or actually rip it out again and then this little, se the little section um I let it get a little taller than I wanted but I don't mind it I kind of like it right there it's something different and then obviously the little bit of s wrap is right in front of that just to hide the bottom portion of that plant but I'm hoping that the uh, nah. Yeah, S-Repins grow a little bit further down this rock, so it covers the back of this, too. I think that look pretty neat. But you see um, all the, the Monte Carlo back there is growing through there. And actually, if I keep a path, it's actually growing through here. The, the S-Repins kind of covers it, which sucks, but it almost looks like if I cut this, this, this Monte Carlo would actually come through this path and grow over here, which that might speed up the process if I do do that. So I'll see. I'll see about that, but it's kind of... You can see there's a little bit of space back there that I keep, but I don't know. It's kind of a tight space. I don't know if that the Monte Carlo will really creep back there or not. We'll see. But got some snails. I know I don't show those enough. But some I think those are raspberry snails. It's when I had my Amazon puff for those for the food, and the food eventually became a main species. So yeah, I think it's all from the last update that there really is to talk about. Got the rocks a little bit more cleaned up so the tank looks a little nicer but i mean from a distance i mean the carpet don't even look that bad to be honest but it's just obviously i'm i'm a little more anal about my how i look but most people they would think most people can barely get a carpet to grow so i mean i can't really complain but i i like i like to get my plants you know just right so I'm gonna keep working on that and see if we can get a lot of this yellowish to go away and get that but this could probably take a while. It takes, without CO2, Monte Carlo grows pretty slow. So we'll see what happens. And then from the 10 gallon, obviously, I don't even know if I even talked about it or not. But I finally got rid of the 10 gallon that I had for the other fish. That's why you see a little more fish in here now. Because this is actually my last setup that I have actually set up until I move. And then we'll have like three new tanks. And we'll, they'll get built They'll get built um, one at a time because they are expensive. The first one's going to be my biggest one. It's a 115 rimless tank from UDS. And, you know, that tank itself is $1,200. So we're just going to keep, you know, and then with everything else, it's, it just doubles that. So we're just going to keep slowly, you know, that we'll do that tank first. And then we'll do a, like, I think I'm doing a 44. I might, I actually might go, go and do a 68 on the next one. I don't know, but we'll definitely have some pretty cool tanks coming and then obviously we'll keep this one it'll just get a different look i'm gonna buy more sheer stone and then rescape it and see what i can do this time because i did throw this kind of fast i mean i didn't really think about it when i first did it it turned out fine now but it could be i know i could do so much better if i actually had you know the money to buy more scape stuff so we'll see about that but i don't want to make this video too long it's already getting there but i guess the last couple things i was talking about is the 10 gallon our old anubius this is about six years old and you can just see how big the leaves are. I mean, this is a pretty big bush. I hate to get rid of it. That's why 
I, I was trying to find somewhere to put it in this tank and it just didn't work out so I just kind of I, I shoved it in the um, skimmer thing because it only gets turned on like once a week but I shoved it in here just so it has you know it's immersed a little bit but I don't know what I'm going to do with that it kind of sucks it, cause I, I'm hoping I can use it in the next setup somehow but we'll see but and also did a monthly, well, I actually don't know when the last time I cleaned my, fil actually cleaned my filters the inside, but I kind of rinsed off the bag a little bit because the bags were getting kind of clogged and, you know, try to keep my biological clean and then sponges got rinsed off already. You can already see it's already brown. I think it was from kicking up the ADA, doing some gravel vacuum, but because, um, Keep, you have to clean this carpet there from these auto sinklers there's a lot of poop that gets in between these leaves and so just taking a little tube and just kind of siphoning out this carpet keeping it clean from debris so you know get all the most light as it can because that, that is kind of a problem is having too much on your carpet and then you get a lot of buildup in your carpet and then your light it's just there's a lot of things that affect your plant growth but just trying to keep everything clean, your surface clean, just getting the most light printation, and, you know, go from there, but, other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video, and, I'll see you next time.